What's up guys? All Muscle Project C4. I want to give you a rundown of what's going on on this one so far. Uh, first thing, basically, uh, we took out the battery and uh, the battery tray in here. Uh, what I'm doing at this point is just basically taking off uh, a lot of the things that are going to be in the way uh, of the engine extraction. Uh, so as you can see, I've already pulled off the air intake assembly here all the way up to the throttle body uh, we pulled off the belt I don't think I needed to do that yet but I'm not sure why I did that but I don't think you need to even pull off the belt it's just laying here uh, pulled off the throttle cable the throttle cable pretty easy to take off there uh, also uh, went ahead and uh, pulled the the Corvette covers here that uh, say Corvette uh, and then now we're working on the wiring harness. I pulled out the uh, computer. Pretty simple to pull out the computer. You basically pull off these four plugs. And there's a nut and bolt that goes in here. And it resides in this area on this bracket. Once you take off that uh, nut and bolt, which is a, I believe a 10. And you take this off and you just go ahead and slide it forward. It comes right out. Let's walk around to the other side here. Oh, actually, before I go, actually, um, removed the wiper motor, and how I did that was I basically took off this uh, screen, uh, this cowl screen, and basically it's just a couple of Torxes, Torx bolts, and that gives you access in here uh, to remove the wiper motor. Uh, the EGR tube went ahead and pulled that off to the side to get the uh, got access to the wiper motor it sits down in this uh, little hole here and this is the indentation on the firewall where it uh, basically uh, sits and resides in all right let's go to the other side all right same, same thing on this side uh, pulled out all the wiring down. There's a, a, a Connector that goes down to the crankshaft position sensor uh, and that goes way down in there uh, There's a couple of clips that you know basically clip the wiring onto the water pump the temp sensor uh, TPS map sensor All the injectors here So basically what I'm left with is both sides of the motor uh, have the wiring uh, loom just sitting here like this and uh, also I'm going to show you here in a second how to pull the wiring out of uh, the under under dash compartment there. Uh, there's a 7 millimeter uh, that goes right down in here on the firewall. You can see the, the hole there. Anyways, this connector fits in there. You just take off the 7 millimeter and you're, you're able to pull it out. But before you do that, you've got to pull a couple of the interior components off have access to the connectors that uh, you're going to be pulling out okay first thing you're going to want to remove uh, the fuel uh, fuel I'm sorry uh, the fuse panel cover and also the cover that's underneath it uh, basically the dash end cap if you would and that's basically held on by these uh, three little torxes I believe it's a 15 and uh, basically after that uh, you're going to want to remove uh, these air vents and these air vents basically just have this little cover here and it's got a couple little notches which I bro actually broke one of them these little notches and they're tabs they're just tabs that uh, you depress and, and it comes right out okay so as soon as you do that you'll have access to two torxes and what it, uh, <coughs> they look like I think they're also the uh, 15 the T15s and they just sit right in there so you just pull those off and out come the air vents set those off to the side and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna you're gonna have a uh, plastic panel that sits in here uh, let me see if I have it available yeah, here it is. okay so you're basically wanting to take off this plastic panel here 
and this is the panel that basically goes underneath your or right above your knees all right so we're wanting to take this off and the way we do that I'll show you here in a second uh, you're going to find once you take off the uh, dash end cap you're going to find a seven millimeter here you're going to find a seven millimeter here once you take those off uh, you'll also also have to come in and loosen these tens there's three 10 millimeter nuts once you loosen those slide it forward uh, and it's going to have a tab where it sits on and it clips into place one here and one here so you got to uh, dislodge it from those uh, then you pull forward anyways what all that was basically going to get to is these uh, these three connectors here uh, these three connectors here are basically what the engine harness comes in inside the uh, uh, dash or uh, dash or engine com or uh, uh, passenger compartment here and goes inside this little kick panel type area uh, just take one of these off the second one the third one and then you're also going to have this vacuum line uh, and the vacuum line uh, once you take these four items off you'll be able to pull uh, the harness through and get it out so I found that to be the easiest it's kind of the same on on the F bodies I've worked on a lot of those kind of mimics that same uh, idea uh, also uh, I'm going to go over next what we're going to be doing we're going to be pulling off these fuel lines and then I'm going to try to get this uh, EGR tube off if I if I can uh, hopefully hopefully it won't be a problem and then at that point uh, we're going to go ahead and start draining the uh, radiator fluid the antifreeze and pulling off all the front end um, hoses let's walk over to the the other C4 this is the one that's uh, gonna get put together at this point I've got it all tore down as you can see all the door the door panels all the wiring and electrical from the doors which integrates into the dash wiring so when I pulled out the dash I had to come in and start with the doors to get all the wiring out so that it would come along with the dash and all the dash wiring all the carpeting all the uh, panel trim the seats the center council uh, area here it's all been tore down to bare bones and this is what I, uh, this is what I like to see at this point I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice little cleaning because uh, this guy was uh, that owned it was definitely a smoker I, I've got this much ash uh, pretty much underneath un this is underneath the carpeting so now uh, you can imagine uh, what was you know all inside this uh, compartment there was burn burn marks on the seats uh, burn marks on the center council there was just you know ash and burn marks everywhere so uh, we're gonna go ahead and remedy that by using all the interior from the other vehicle including the dash the dash on this car was pretty decent but I just wanted to use the, uh, the lower mileage unit engine compartment on this car still looks pretty much the same I haven't done anything to it yet uh, but first off we're gonna start with the with the cleaning of the engine compartment so that way uh, we have a good uh, workspace to uh, start putting things back together so that's uh, that's the point where I'm at now let you guys go project C4 we'll commence on the next video guys see you soon